What's happening, guys? I'm going to be doing a, a series on slavery, okay? These videos are not for children because the language I'm going to use, these videos are for you. I want you to take this information and teach a child exactly what slavery was, right, and what it wasn't. Right now, currently, I am in New Orleans, but I'm across the river. That's downtown New Orleans over there. That's downtown New Orleans. I'm in an area called Algiers Point, right? And the reason why I, I, I come here, because this is the hub of slavery, okay? I'm going to show you in detail how we arrive from areas currently known as Sierra Leone, as Ghana, and we came here because there's this group of ignorant ass African Americans who are teaching that we were always here. And I said, okay, man, look, listen to me. I understand you want to pledge allegiance to indigenous populations in America. And I understand you want to prove that those people were in fact of color. But what I'm not, what you're not going to do is take and erase our suffering. And after being in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a toilet of a ship for 90 days, I'm not going to let you do that, especially when I have bill of lettings, right? I have the bill of lettings from this port right here showing where we arrived here in chains, okay? Not only did we arrive here in chains, but we went here. Right? Now I'm gonna try to make the block to show you this building here. That building that you're seeing in your view right there, that's the courthouse. That's where those bill of lettings were certified. Right? But Algiers Point, the whole purpose of Algiers Point was a hub for slavery. It was for the economy of slavery. There wasn't anything else that existed here but the economy and infrastructure of slavery. What you're looking at there are what's called holding pins. These were the same holding pins when you watched 12 Years a Slave. These are the pins where we arrived and we began to be conditioned for slavery. So what you're watching from white Christians right now is a movement to erase slavery from our education system. You cannot tell the story of this shithole ass country called America without starting here in Algiers Point with slavery that building right there were holding pens look at the size and magnitude of it for something that big how many slaves were held in this thing in preparation the cleaning and the condition and the scrubbing you got three months of shit you got three months of feces you got three months of urine you got sores lesions debt decay you have, you have slaves that were chained to each other for 90 days and they came here to Algiers Point first. This was the first. Now, it's, a, it's, a, it's an all-white area, okay? It has always been an all-white area. You got to understand about Algiers Point is that this is where the whole economy of slavery lived right here. This is, you, you ever ask yourself a question of what happened to slave catchers? You ever, you ever wondered what happened to those who were, who, who, who were in the business of rounding up slaves? Those who sold this group called the privateers. Like we have a university here called the UNO privateer. Who in the fuck were these people? This is where they lived. This is where they lived. So when slavery ends, you have a group that has been third, fifth generation overseers. What well, What did they do? They started working for shipyards. <laughs> they, start, they started working for shipyards. Why? Because they already understood shipping. So if your whole business was in shipping and you're a port city, right, and slavery is over, you work for the shipyard. That's why we had so many shipyards up and down this particular area. 
right? So I'm going to bring you to a spot not only that was famous for the conditioning preparation of slaves, it's called McDonaldville. It's where slaves were, it's where they bred us. So this video is going to stop and start in certain points because I'm moving around in the streets in New Orleans ain't shit. And all you'll hear is just my car hitting potholes, <laughs> right? But like, see little taverns, like here you see people sitting out there eating and drinking, right? Something else I want you to understand about slavery is they didn't always sell you at an auction block. Many a times you were sold right at little taverns like that. Did you know in New Orleans, we, we had something called slave flipping? You know, like you flipped a house, that really wasn't what it was called, right? It was called speculating. But we had something called slave flipping, What is what I titled it. It's where one person buys a slave that's wanted in Jackson, Mississippi, or it's wanted, that slave is wanted in Alabama, or that type of slave is wanted in, in well, Georgia had their own imports, right, with Savannah, right? But, but mainly, mainly, we fed the slaves to Mississippi, okay? Jackson, the slaves that arrived in Jackson, Mississippi, arrived from New Orleans. But you would have a slave sold 10 times before they even made it to Jackson, Mississippi. Well, how is that possible? Because just like you'll have a horse that can increase in value from today to tomorrow, just like you have a commodities market that can increase in value, from today to tomorrow. Look at the, look at this road. Look at this road. That can increase in value. Look at it. You see this shit here? You can have a slave increase in value. So he would buy the slave. He would buy the slave at the holding pens over there. And he can he would stand us outside of stores, similar to this one here, where we can be sold. As we could be flipped as much as 10 times you could have 10 owners before you even make it to Jackson Mississippi who only owned you for a day look at these roads this is the same cobblestones from slavery this has been here this cobblestone that I'm walking on right now were laid by enslaved Africans and then we just paved over. So I'm gonna start and stop several times just to show you the economy of slavery, but it was buildings like you see here, these little taverns, right? That look like normal stores. These were slaves markets, slaves merchants. And this is prime real estate in New Orleans right now, and I'll show you why, right? Cause it's that old nostalgic feeling and white Christians love old nostalgia because it takes them to a point where they dominated a complete race to 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 the least common denominator. They deduced us to the least common. They smushed us, squashed us to the least common denominator. And these descendants of these, areas, they don't see any problem with walking through the history of that savageness because it made white Christians who they are. <laughs> 